It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the spotlight is on George Kittle. He should be one of his quarterback's best friends this week. It's the 49ers and the Jaguars, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Welcome in, everyone, to this presentation of the National Football League on EA Sports. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson up here in the booth. Should be a good matchup here, Greg. A couple of the playoff teams a year ago that are hoping to take that ultimate step and get to the Super Bowl this season. And oftentimes, that's the most difficult step, right? You go from being a perennial playoff contender. That's great. But now, how many of these teams can now say, okay, not only are we in the playoffs year in and year out, but we are a legitimate Super Bowl contender in any given season. That is easier said than done. Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Jacksonville offense ready to go to work for the first time. Leading them out, the former number one overall pick back in the 2021 draft, it's Trevor Lawrence. It's not so much that he was able to throw for over 400 yards in last week's game, Mike, but it's the fact that he made it look so easy. Every time he touched the ball, it seemed like they were just up and down the field with very little resistance, and he doesn't necessarily have to repeat that type of production this week, but... It certainly wouldn't hurt their chances of winning if he's somehow able to do so. Now second down throw for Lawrence. Working free downfield, it's Kirk. And he will take this one in. 74 yards. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Cam Little comes on now for the extra point. His kick is good, and the Jaguars are very quickly out to a 7-0 lead. 7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Now return coming from the 7. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The 49ers offense set to get to work for the first time. Led out by the last pick in the draft in 2022. Iowa State's Brock Purdy at quarterback. It's not often that you can win by multiple scores in the NFL. So you got to imagine they're coming into this week's game with a lot of confidence. They were able to put together a pretty well-rounded performance in all three phases last week. So again, can they build off that? Can they continue to grow as an entire team? Because offense, defense, and solid contribution from their special teams, they showed last week and going forward, this is going to be a hard team to beat. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here comes third and six. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. To throw once more, it's Purdy. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a second and nine. So Kittle comes in motion. Here's Purdy again. Open man is Samuel, complete. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Up the middle, here's McCaffrey. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. So Kittle comes in motion. On second down, Purdy. Quick throw here is complete. 
And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. They'll motion over Samuel. They need two. Here's Purdy. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. On fourth down, it's Jake Moody time for the Niners. He'll bang that one through. It's good. And the 49ers are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. There's Trevor Lawrence as he and the Jaguars get set for their next drive. He had the touchdown pass earlier, adding to his season total. You get a look at the NFL leaders in touchdown passes to this point this season. On the ground, here's the Clemson product, Travis Etienne. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. With that, why don't we give you a look at his numbers on the ground in last week's game. Second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. To the right side, and Kirk's got it. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with ETN. 12 yards on the pickup. And that's a first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using... Oh, uh, the ball comes out! And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. They'll come up here first and 10. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Purdy. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. On the give, it's McCaffrey. And there's defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. From the gun, it's Purdy. Has his man, it's Samuel. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. They'll work now on second and four. Out of the gun, it's Purdy. That's caught Christian McCaffrey. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. So Kittle comes in motion. Back to the air again is Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll throw again with Purdy. 
That's into the hands of Pearsall on the right side. They'll come up to third and three. Purdy going to put it up again. That's going to be incomplete. And it'll leave just enough time for one final play in this opening quarter. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. We are through one. A one-point affair, 7-6 is the score and we'll have more from Jacksonville after this both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away Keelan Robinson to return and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive. Travis Etienne and the Jaguar offense ready to get back to work. Here's first and ten. Hey, go, go. Go, go. Lawrence now. This pass is caught by Thomas. And that's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Now Lawrence on the bootleg. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Here's Lawrence to throw. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Off-balance throw, it's complete. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Lawrence gives this one to ETN. Not much there, maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's the first carry for Tank Bigsby. Woo! And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. A gain there of 23 yards. First down, Jacksonville. Man, how nice is it to have a guy like this? He's your backup running back, but he's kind of a change of pace. He's got that home run ability, and he showed it there. That was a heck of a run. On first down, Lawrence. He'll get this complete over the middle with Kirk. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now here's Lawrence. Under pressure and down he goes. They got him. If there's one positive remaining, it's the fact that they're still in scoring position. But with the way they've been able to move the ball down here in the red zone... They're thinking six, but after that last sack, their chances of converting here for a touchdown have gotten a lot more difficult. Lawrence from the gun here on third down. That is hauled in at the five. And he's going to be taken down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now... This defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. And hold on to that football, young man. That's a keeper. His first NFL touchdown. 
it seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. Extra point by Little is good, and the Jaguars will take a 14-6 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So here's Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense heading back onto the field. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. That's caught by McCaffrey. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. They'll come up now for second down and four. Off the play fake, Purdy. Downfield, and it's caught by Ayuk. A pickup of 21 on that connection. First down, 49ers. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. They'll roll out here with Purdy. That's hauled in once again, it's Ayuk. And he's not gonna get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's Purdy again. He'll check this down to the running back. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good gain, brings up third down. And he'll be taken down. They got him back at the 50-yard line. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst-case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. So the drive stalls out, and here's the Aussie Mitch Wisnowski to punt. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Jaguars offense ready to get back to work. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten. He'll give it to ETN to start this drive. And he'll get four here, up to the 24-yard line. Here's a second and six. Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. Brian Thomas, the intended receiver. And it'll be third down. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. He's got his man. It's complete to Thomas. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. A first down throw for Lawrence. That caught by Davis. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. After this timeout, second down and three. Here's Lawrence. Open man is Davis. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down.
Back to throw. Lawrence. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throwing is Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. To throw is Lawrence. Oh, a loose football. The Niners have got it. And there it is. The defense comes up with the big play, forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field. Coming up, Greg, with a big turnover. Taking the ball away, Mike, has really become an art form in the NFL. Some teams are good at it. Some teams not so much. But in this case, great job by the defense taking that one away. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. From the gun, it's Purdy. That's over the middle to Kittle. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. First and 10, Purdy. To the sideline, and what a catch, and what a great job to keep the feet alive. Inbounds as good as you can do it. To throw once more, it's Purdy. It is brought in, in the end zone. Debo Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. Extra point up and good from Moody. And the 49ers move back to within one. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Jaguars' offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. And he's going to be taken down, but a marker is on the field. And we need to check this call. They get the veteran, Trent Williams. They go play action for Lawrence. He'll let this one go. Deep for Thomas. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Shotgun snap to Purdy. He's going to tuck it and go. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. The Niners will use the first of their timeouts. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. It'll be a 44-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Niners get three here late in the first half to take the lead. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. On first and ten, Lawrence. He's going to try it here again. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered, and that is how this first half will come to an end. This is still anyone's ball game at this point. The difference is just two as we begin quarter number three. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The 49ers offense and Brock Purdy headed back on the field for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. They'll come up here on second down and five. Now Purdy. They'll try to set up the screen to McCaffrey. 
And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. That's into the hands of Pearsall on the right side. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. On second down, it's McCaffrey. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. And that ball incomplete over the middle. They'll try again. It's second and ten. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Purdy. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. So, after two straight incompletions, here's third and ten. So Kittle comes in motion. Ayuk makes the catch right side. 13 yards on the catch there. It's good for a Niners first down. They send the tight end in motion. Over the middle to Ayuk complete. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Back to the air again is Purdy. He'll find his tight end, Kittle, on the right side. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Purdy going to put it up again. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Again in the air for Purdy. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So after back-to-back -back incompletions, it is now third and ten. Throwing again is Purdy. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. This just a little more than a chip shot. 32-yard attempt. Moody's kick is good. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. The Jags offense and Trevor Lawrence set to take over once more. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a... The tight end, Ingram, is on the move. On first down, Lawrence. He'll get this complete over the middle with Kirk. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. ETN now on first and 10. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. That's caught over the middle by Thomas. A first down throw for Lawrence. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Working free downfield, it's Kirk. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Lawrence now. There's a throw right side. It's going to be incomplete.
Lawrence now on second down. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. After back-to-back -back incompletions, they now face third down and ten. A quick slant into the hands of Thomas. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Jaguars will cut the deficit down to two. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. And they will finally get him down, but he gets all the way close to the 40-yard line. The Niners offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. Off he goes. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. Little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. A short one there, caught by Kittle. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll try to run for it with McCaffrey. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, he did. It is indeed a first down. To throw, Purdy. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. A second down throw here for Purdy. A throw on the move is caught. And he'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down coming up. Needing a yard, they throw with Purdy. Able to complete it to Ayuk. And he's going to have that first down gain of six as they convert on third down. So these teams trade field goals in the... They go three tight ends here on first and ten. They run straight ahead with McCaffrey. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Again, it's McCaffrey. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. Off the play fake, Purdy. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. That's the safety, Jimmy Ward. And the Jaguars are going to get it back here, just shy of the 20. They'll stick to the ground. And the struggles in the running game continue. They take him down behind the line. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him, down the field. It'll set up third down. A throw on the run is complete. Six catches for him in the ball game now, and this one's good for a first down. Now Lawrence. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him, and it'll be second down. They'll run. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Couple of first downs to start this drive. They're first and 10 up at the 42. They'll run here. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. 
Here's second and six. Now here's Lawrence. That's into the hands of Travis Etienne. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. In motion comes Thomas. Lawrence from the gun here on third down. That catch number 40 on the season for him. On first and 10, Lawrence to the right side, and Kirk's got it. Now whistles and a timeout. First and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. To throw is Lawrence. This one is caught, and it's the tight end, Strange. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Back to throw, Lawrence. That's complete to ETN. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. Here's Lawrence to throw. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So the ball's still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. Here's Lawrence. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. For the lead, here is third and goal. Lawrence. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Purdy. Samuel has it working the middle. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. On second down, Purdy. That's into the hands of Pearsall on the right side. First and ten, Purdy. He's going to air this one out, and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Back to the air again is Purdy. The second down throw is incomplete. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. They'll try to set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. It's only a yard, but a big yard. Fourth and one. Here's Purdy. That's taken in. And he's going to pick up the first down. He was short when he caught it, but knew exactly where he needed to get to gets there and keeps the drive alive. He gets it to Samuel, left side. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and 10. McCaffrey, not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. They'll drop to throw. That's caught by McCaffrey. The Jags will use the first of their timeouts here. They'll talk things over before third down. To throw is Purdy. 
Oh, and a crusher there. He can't get a throw away, and he's taken down. So Kittle comes in motion. That's going to be caught. And he's going to have a Niners first down on what will be a big play there on fourth and long. And they'll run here with McCaffrey. Down to the goal line. No signal. Is he in? They'll say it did not break the plane, but a real solid gain on first and goal. Again, it'll be McCaffrey. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit, and now it is third and goal. They'll try and run with McCaffrey. And waiting, no signal. He did not. No, he did not get in. And that's going to bring up fourth and goal. This kick is good. And they take the lead in the final minute of this game. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think obviously you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. A first down throw for Lawrence. There's that man again, another catch. His eighth reception of the game, and good for a first down. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And he'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's second down. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. And he'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is a tough spot. Third down and 10. To throw is Lawrence. That is incomplete. So the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. He's going to take a shot down the field. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. But this will wind up a turnover on downs. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So a win here for our visitors, the 49ers. And make that a fifth straight victory as they're looking tougher and tougher to beat every week, especially heading to playoff time.